Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we got a brand new episode of the Call of Duty podcast in which some of the devs and various other uh, COD employees go through. They sit down, they talk about upcoming updates and various other ongoings in the Call of Duty world. And obviously with Black Ops 6 just a couple of weeks away now, this episode was themed all around some of the upcoming launch updates and changes that we should expect. And they've actually now gone through and through this podcast episode revealed some of the first major in-year updates we're going to see for Black Ops 6. So this includes some updates actually coming just a couple of days after launch and beyond as well. So diving right in, the first major thing that was actually revealed in this podcast episode is that a base version of Nuketown is in fact coming to Black Ops 6. I don't think this is a major surprise to anyone. Like it's a Black Ops game. It's obviously gonna have Nuketown. We do have Warhead as a map that's basically Nuketown after it was nuked as one of the base launch maps. And they've talked about that and shown that one off a little bit previously. But everyone else was just kind of wondering, you know, okay, well, we have the nuked Nuketown. What about base Nuketown? We can assume it's probably gonna be in the game, right? It was really just a matter of when are we going to see, uh, you know, a base Nuketown drop. And there were several different leaks and rumors out there about how Nuketown is going to see various different variants released throughout the year, probably as a part of seasonal updates. And we now have it confirmed that on November 1st, just about a week after the launch of Black Ops 6, we are going to see Nuketown added into the game with our very first content update. So a base like 90s era version of Nuketown will be there shortly after launch. If you're looking for, you know, uh, some nostalgia, running it back to some Nuketown gameplay, if you like that map for grinding out camos or leveling up your guns or whatever i'm sure we're gonna have like a nuketown 24 7 playlist or whatever available as well so nuketown now officially confirmed with that november 1st release date but that's not all the update for uh this is also reportedly going to include infected as our very first mode update so they said briefly after launch we were going to see infected drop and presumably that's going to be about a week after launch essentially so i would assume that's all part of like one major first in year update that we're going to see there on november 1st nuketown as a map infected as a mode as they said about a week after launch but then also other party modes are going to be returning as well throughout the year there's going to be a fan favorite mode coming in season one they didn't give any more details besides that they're obviously trying to tease it be a little bit more ambiguous with it but uh, a fan favorite party mode returning with season one and then also even more party modes throughout the year black ops as a franchise has always had really good party modes whether it was one in the chamber or sticks and stones gun game this that and whatever else so we can expect those to be reappearing throughout the content year as we see season one drop season two three four five six everything like that and by the way as we are going through all the things that were announced and revealed today this really is still just the start we've got so much coming in the next couple of days and weeks leading up to launch then of course launch itself is going to be huge so if you want to guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in cod whether it is news and announcements it's new updates everything like that this is the best place to be so feel free to hit that subscribe button join us on the road to 1 million subscribers and if you enjoyed this video a like rating would be seriously appreciated now, unfortunately, this podcast wasn't all, you know, sunshine and rainbows. They did unfortunately have one announcement in particular that I'm a little bit bummed about. That is the fact that there will not be consistent weekly challenges this uh, year. Obviously, MW3 sort of brought in this weekly challenge system where we always had like an aftermarket part reward or a blueprint reward, right? Uh, but they did directly specify on this podcast no, we're not going to see significant weekly challenges. There will be like seasonal challenges and different events like that. And they also teased another big update coming. Treyarch is working on some kind of big surprise reward. They really did not get into any details here. This could be, you know, the return of prestige camos from MW3. So every season gets a new prestige camo or something like that. But they made it seem relatively significant so hopefully it's going to be something worthwhile but definitely a little bit bummed that the weekly challenge system is not planned to be returning uh hopefully we still see like consistent events and other stuff like that perhaps we'll be discussing that in a video here uh in the near future but yeah weekly challenges a one and done thing it seemed like for modern warfare 3. 
They did also go through and talk about several different zombies updates as well within this episode of the COD Pod. Some of these actually are updates for launch, so not even in-year updates, but things we'll be able to experience right away on day one for instance they said with liberty falls they've already planned and are making changes to the mood the look and the general tone of it so it's going to be more moody at launch uh some of the atmospheric elements were actually disabled for next is a bit of a play test because they didn't want to give things away too much with the overall storyline lore and feel of the map so the overall tone and environment is going to be looking a little bit different for Liberty Falls right away on day one. Definitely interested in seeing what all is going to be changing with that. They also said they have even more HUD updates coming, uh, some specifically for zombies, but hopefully this is like a full fleshed out thing for all modes here with more customization options there. But a few of the elements for zombies HUD are being updated for launch as well. So we'll have some alternative options there specifically. They also talked a little bit more on some of the in-year content for zombies here, and they did directly say that round-based content is the entire focus this year. So uh, no outbreak, no DMZ-like zombies or MWZ-like zombies. It is solely round-based content for zombies throughout the entire year. And the third round-based map is coming before the end of 2024. Presumably, that's likely going to happen with Season 1. They haven't given us a direct date for when Season 1 is going to happen yet of course once they do reveal that i'll be covering it here on the channel but before the end of the year we're going to see our third round based zombies map and they do have plans for even more zombies support for in-game events this year as opposed to years past where maybe it was a little bit more redundant or things weren't as exciting or inviting for zombies players to partake in certain events that's going to be changed this year there will be more emphasis on zombies as a part of uh you know events as a whole so that's definitely good news there as well and they did confirm the return of several Easter egg songs in Zombies as well. A sort of Black Ops classic. I remember back in the day trying to go through, you had to like pick up all the telephones or activate certain stuff to get some of the songs to play, which is always pretty cool as well. So Zombies promising content updates throughout the year. We've already got some significant content updates dropping and uh, confirmed for just a week after the launch of Black Ops 6. And as I alluded to earlier, this really is just the beginning. There's even more to be announced and revealed in the coming days and weeks. And then obviously a ton of stuff going to be happening at launch and shortly thereafter. So if you want to make sure you are in the know for absolutely everything, you've got all the breaking news, the need to know info, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, a like rating on your way out would be seriously appreciated. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.